hello everyone uh, i welcome you all uh, for this uh, subject that is uh, advanced manufacturing processes uh, before going to start about uh, the about the introduction part of this uh, advanced manufacturing processes i just want to tell you about uh, the two books that you have to refer for this book uh, for this subject that is uh, first one is the kalpak jian and uh, that is kalpak kalpak jian and skimit okay and that is by uh, that is uh, by the pearson education and uh, one is uh, manufacturing technology by p n rao okay that is volume 2 uh, and that is by mgh publication so uh, these uh, two book are wonderful books i even though whatever the uh, that uh, numerical parts as well as uh, the figures and uh, some of the theory part that i have taken from these two books only and if you are preparing for any uh, examination like gate and engineering services examination then you can also follow uh, these two books okay uh, one more thing is that uh, in the video it's very difficult to cover all the subject i mean full su subject okay full syllabus so uh, you have the these two uh, option is available to you that if you want to study in detail then you can go through uh, these two books okay so let's start about uh, uh, let's start about this uh, subject that is advanced manufacturing processes and one more thing is again uh, we are going uh, about to start this uh, content part of this uh, advanced manufacturing processes just uh, i want to brief you about that what you have studied previously in the previous semesters okay so first that you have studied that is machining processes okay so in the machining uh, processes uh, you have studied about the lathe machine okay drilling machine okay milling okay and grinding okay and many more uh, many more all the machining operations uh, that you that you have studied previously okay uh, also uh, you have studied about the how the metal uh, metal removal is takes place what is the uh, material removal rate okay in these processes and we uh, discuss about the metal uh, cutting operation metal cutting part as well okay in which the metal cutting part we have studied there is a different types of chip formation when uh, we are using the different types of uh, tool with the different uh, with the variable parameters okay uh, also we have discussed uh, what are the forces that is affiliated between the workpiece and the tool okay in the metal cutting operations also uh, at the different angle like we have studied about that uh, oblique cutting and the orthogonal cutting okay uh, also that uh, tools uh, that angles that is affiliated with the uh, tool and the workpiece okay that we have studied in the metal cutting also uh, you have studied about the manufacturing processes okay uh, manufacturing processes now in these manufacturing processes uh, you have studied about the uh, casting okay so uh, whatever we have dis whatever you have discussed previously like in the machining process and the manufacturing processes uh, that uh, were completely basics okay so in this uh, advanced manufacturing processes uh, that will be uh, whatever you will study uh, like uh, casting or welding or machining processes so that will be completely advanced okay so uh, in the casting previously you have studied about uh, the uh, casting terminology okay casting terminology there are different types of parts casting equipments okay when this we are using this casting in the workshop or in in, in any industries they are using different types of casting equipments okay like uh, pouring basin screw runner uh, mold cavities and all these things risers you have studied in that part okay also you have studied uh, different type uh, different types of uh, casting techniques like uh, uh, slush casting centrifugal centrifugal casting investment casting uh, die casting okay all these things you have studied previously so uh, also you have uh, studied di different types of patterns we are using different types of materials pattern we are using in these uh, castings okay so that part you have already covered <clears throat> also uh, in the second uh, another part that you have studied welding different types of welding processes so uh, you have uh, in that you have studied about the 
uh, how the uh, how this welding is differentiated how this autogen what are the autogenous what are homogeneous what is heterogeneous welding processes okay on the basis of that we divide part that is solid state welding liquid state welding semi solid or liquid so solid liquid okay in that you have studied about the uh, friction welding okay friction shear welding all these things in which you have studied about the uh, shielded metal arc welding tig welding mig welding uh, uh, submerged arc welding resistance port welding in which you have studied about the uh, shouldering and brazing okay uh, and also uh, in the welding you have discussed, you have studied about the casting def uh, sorry this welding defects okay uh, and uh, apart from it you have studied about the sheet metal operations okay sheet metal operations there is like forming forming forging uh, wire drawing rolling all these things you have studied okay uh, but so uh, also you have studied about the uh, jig and fixture so that part will not cover here because that is uh, jig and fixture is completely a metrology part okay so uh, that will not cover here but uh, rest of the things that will uh, cover here in advance okay so the first uh, unit is uh, that is that covers the basic advanced machining processes okay we also call these machining processes as a non conventional machining processes okay and non traditional machining processes why we are calling it uh, non conventional so first we uh, define why we are calling them as a conventional because uh, whatever the process that we were using previously uh, that is completely a mechanical process in which the material is removed uh, with the uh, tool workpiece contact okay and there is completely a uh, mechanics is involved okay so uh, that's why we are calling them as a conventional processes but now if you will uh, look at here the uh, the processes that cover in the advanced machining processes are uh, chemical machining electrochemical machining electrical electric discharge machining uh, ultrasonic machining laser beam uh, electron beam machining ion beam machining abrasive water jet machining so if you will see if you will look at here like uh, chemical uh, like uh, chemical machining and electrochemical machining if you are talking about a chemical machining process then material is removed using a chemistry means chemical okay the chemi chemical and the workpiece is there so material is removed using the chemicals so chemical reaction is there if we are talking about uh, the electrochemical machining then uh, along with the chemical we are using the electricity to remove the material from the workpiece okay so uh, next one is the electrical discharge machining so uh, discharge means there is a abrasive slurry we are using uh, along with that abrasive slurry we are using a electric Uh, electricity to generate a spark okay so that we are calling it as a edm that is electric discharge machining next is ultrasonic machining means uh, we are using a vibration uh, for the joining uh, means for the removal of the material next is laser uh, electron and the ion beam welding ion beam machining so uh, all different types of beam we are using for the machining purpose okay to remove the material next is uh, abrasive uh, water jet machining uh, there are two methods that is uh, water jet machining wjm and awjm so this is uh, awjm that is abrasive water jet machining in water jet machining we are just study about that uh, at a high uh, rate of water uh, is coming out water jet that we are calling it as jet okay so that uh, through jet water jet the material is removed okay now in this process we are using the abrasive slurry along with the water jet so uh, whatever the range of the depth we are using to remove the material in this wjm that is increased in awjm okay so this is only the difference and other also there are differences so that we will uh, study when we will study this part but uh, these are the some basics so uh, if you will look at here then in all the processes there is uh, some not completely mechanical engineering is involved okay somehow it is a chemical engineering uh, somehow it is a electrical electric uh, electrical engineering electronics engineering so uh, this is a combination of all the machining all, all the engineering part okay so that's why we are calling it as a non conventional machining or non traditional machining also what are the requirement uh, of these advanced machining processes because Uh, whatever we have discussed so far uh, that is a uh, uh, means uh, nowadays what is happening that 
uh, if we are talking, if we are taking example of automotive industries, then before 90s or 80s, uh, the whole body part of the uh, bike or a automotive or a vehicle is completely made up of uh, iron or a steel. Okay. Nowadays, if you look at the parts of the uh, what uh, just part, uh, body part or of a bike or a, a car, then you will see that there are fiber that uh, steel part is taken by the fiber. Okay, that is so the weight is reduced. So weight is reduced means mileage is increases. So day by day we are working on it and we are inventing a new material. So when we are inventing new materials means if we are taking we cannot compromise the safety. Okay, so safety is also important and the uh, economic economic is also important. So we have come to the economy. We are always taking consideration into these two categories. Okay, so. Uh, economic always uh, material is chosen as per the economic point of view as well as the safety point of view okay so both criteria is required so economic is required means uh, money has to be reduced safety is required means material strength has to be increased so that cannot material strength cannot be decreased so uh, if material is safety is required then material uh, strength is increases means uh, whatever the strength that we are using previously means for the same thickness of the material like mild steel we are using then we have reduced uh, with the same strength we are using or even though we have increased but we have decreases the uh, thickness of this material okay so uh, because of that the safety is also increases and economy is i mean money is getting down and safety is also increases okay so that both part is uh, consideration so uh, if we are increasing the strength then it's very difficult uh, for the uh, conventional machining operations uh, to uh, to operate on the harder materials okay uh, generally if we talk about the uh, operations of uh, conventional machining processes then it is up to the uh, 100 bhn 100 100 bhn uh, vinyl hardness number okay so if we are going beyond that then we have to use the advanced machining processes okay so uh, these are the machining processes also uh, the next chapter that is related with the advanced casting processes so far in the previous uh, previous machine manufacturing processes or the casting processes we have studied about the centrifugal casting investment casting slush casting die casting okay so there are different types of pattern we are using of the different materials and the different types of structures we are getting with the using different types of casting. In this uh, casting processes, advanced casting, we are using just a, uh, we are also using here different types of uh, patterns, but uh, the cost is increased here. Okay, means uh, if we really important, if we have to produce a complex geometry, then only we use this advanced casting processes. Otherwise, these casting processes are very, very costly. Okay, if you simply talk about uh, this this vacuum ca vacuum casting process, then uh, you just think about that uh, for a uh, mold cavity, there is a mold cavity that you have to insert it inside a vacuum chamber. Okay, so once uh, that vacuum chamber, and you have to fill the mold uh, that mold cavity using a casting material or the molten material okay so after that only uh, that uh, within that vacuum the pressure that you have to generate okay and in that uh, the molten material that we are feeling at which is at a high temperature okay so that is uh, again it is uh, whatever the time taken for the solidification or the to become a solid uh, up to that we have to put, uh, we have to uh, keep keep this mold cavity into the vacuum so these things we have to keep in mind so automatically this affects uh, the cost of the casting processes okay so these are we can use this casting but whenever where is the requirement okay uh, next is the advanced welding processes like as i said that you have studied about the tick welding sorry tick welding mig welding okay uh, submerged arc welding uh, shielded metal arc welding okay like uh, uh, gaze welding and all the all the others uh, okay so what we are doing is by the way we are getting up to the uh, 30 3600 degree centigrade uh, in the gaze welding so if it is necessary uh, and as per the application is available then we can use gaze welding as well otherwise uh, tig and mig is uh, tig and mig submerged arc welding is also very good uh, to give a good uh, 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 welding strength uh, penetration is very good by the submerged arc welding so uh, as per the requirement we can use but we need a high temperature or a 
uh, high thickness we are joining then we can use this advanced welding processes if you will uh, if you if we are talk about this tig welding then we are using the tungsten electrode that is non consumable electrode along with the inert gauge so that inert gauge is argon either argon or helium or other that is co2 is also available so that we can use or the combination we can also use so tungsten is a non consumable electrode so if we are talking about here the atomic hydrogen welding where we are using a uh, two tungsten electrode with the different parameters okay if you are talking about a plasma arc welding then we are using a single uh, tig is only the plasma arc welding means when we are using a high range of uh, power uh, or a high range of uh, uh, current then only that is uh, converted into the sorry this converted into this plasma arc welding okay so uh, if you are talking about uh, this part like uh, if you are talking about this ultrasonic welding so uh, here we are using this ultrasonic uh, machining so there here we were using this vibrations uh, for the machining purpose to remove the material here we are using these vibrations to joining the material okay similarly here uh, like laser beam welding and electron beam welding here there we were using uh, to remove the material but here we are using to uh, join the material so this is only the differences but you can see that this high energy uh, this high energy can be utilized in any way okay and uh, th this is how we are utilizing this energy and some wherever it is required uh, we are using uh, this energy uh, for the machining purpose uh, wherever it is required we are using it for the joining purpose okay so like this also we can initiate uh, next part uh, is the uh, that is advanced um, many advanced uh, metal forming processes so far uh, in the previously you have studied about the forming processes that is uh, rolling forging forming okay and uh, this uh, wire drawing extrusion processes okay that is uh, a limited if a limited strength is uh, affiliated then we can use these processes what we have studied previously or uh, if we can in introduce the heat heat treatment processes after that also the strength had been reduced so uh, within that time we can use uh, we can uh, use these processes okay so uh, because of that we can reduce the strength and we can use these processes but if we need a, uh, if there is a harder material is there and we have to make a complicated structure then uh, we have to use uh, these machining process these metal forming processes okay so uh, these metal forming processes are like high energy rate forming electromagnetic forming explosive forming and electrohydraulic forming okay so electrohydraulics means uh, fluid mechanics and uh, uh, fluid as well as uh, electricity we are using uh, where a constant pressure is applied because the hydraulic fluid is there okay explosive forming you can think about that explosions is there so uh, whatever the metal forms uh, whatever the uh, means we are using explosions uh, to form uh, whatever the shape is required okay so that these again these processes are very costly and we are generally using these uh, metal forming processes wherever there is a complex shape is required okay complex shape of the harder material is required okay otherwise we are using the conventional process only as well as the surface finishing is required okay uh, next is uh, this rapid prototyping and uh, rapid manufacturing so uh, this chapter is uh, like uh, this is basically belongs to the uh, computer aided manufacturing but here we have added uh, this into uh, this advanced manufacturing processes so uh, this rapid uh, prototyping and manufacturing so in this uh, process uh, in this in this video we'll discuss sorry in this chapter we'll discuss about the different types of uh, techniques that is affiliated with the rapid prototyping and uh, rapid manufacturing uh, that is generally based on the what kind of materials uh, which is uh, uh, through which we are depositing the layer okay so that is a uh, liquid powder that is in liquid or liquid form powder form or solid form so on the basis of that there are different types of techniques are available like uh, fuse deposition modeling uh, fdm uh, stereolithography techniques that is sla okay uh, ballistic particle manufacturing uh, on the basis of that liquid if we are talking about a powder then there is a 3d printing and the sls that is selective laser printing sintering is available if you are talking about the solid then there are uh, laminated object manufacturing and etc there are a lot of techniques are available uh, for uh, rapid prototyping and manufacturing so that uh, part we will cover in this uh, in this uh, chapter okay so in this video this we are stopping up to here in the next video we will start this first with the very basic uh, 
this uh, method that is uh, chemical machining okay so thank you so much guys